Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Star and I am excited to announce that I am doing my first ever Stargazer sweepstakes. Yes, I am. Um, I will be giving away either College Football 25, Madden 25, or a $75 Visa gift card. But in order to have a chance uh, to put your name in the bucket to win one of those prizes, you do have to follow the rules that I have there listed on the right side of the screen. Um, please make sure you follow, follow all the rules to ensure that every single one of your entries is accounted for. Because the more entries you get, the bigger your chance is to win the prize. Turn. Marcus Spears. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. He do the wee woo wee woo. Marcus Spears. Chill out, man. Marcus, chill out. <laughs> First of all, he right. No team, team build like us. No. No team is as aggressive as building through the draft like us. No, I agree with that. But the real question is, is it enough to win a Super Bowl? I say absolutely yes. And this is why. It, to me, it's not about the free agent because he, he, at the end, he messed up. He really thought he was cooking and he wasn't hold on let me play it again because he slipped he thought he was saying something and see you dealing with me you ain't see i'm better than teddy when it comes to the <laughs> cowboys hold on let me play this hold on i ain't gonna restart it let me let me just go and start it right here one move that dallas has made like that just name me one no okay. oh see you you talking to him if you was talking to me i would have gave you 10 you hear me see because he act like we don't get no free agents was Amari Cooper a free agent? No. But what, you see what I'm saying? But was he, a, yeah. was he drafted from, a, no. He was an outsider. Was Quinn, yeah. huh, who gave us like 10, 11 sacks? Huh? Was he yeah, drafted? He no. Was Cobb, who almost gave us a thousand yards, was he drafted by the Cowboys? No. What about Poe? Yeah, what about Robert Griffin? Oh, we forgot about them boys. What about just last year, Stephon Gilmore? Oh, what about Brandon Cooks? See, you talking to me. See, I really know this team. You was talking to Teddy, who don't know this team. I know this team. Don't play with me. It's made like that. Just name me one. No, How many more you want? Because to <laughs> me, it's not, and I'm just being real, it's not about the free agents and us getting them. It's how we treat them. That's the thing. It's how we treat them when they hear. Ski, see, because Hankins was an outside free agent. But what do we always do? We favor our draft guys over those outside free agents. To me, it's about just treating them guys right when they here and we could win the Super Bowl. Let me let, let, let me just say it like this. Remember, it was Stephen Jones who said we couldn't have kept Gallup if we would have paid Amari, if we'd have kept Amari which means you favored your drafted guy over Amari. So you telling me in that next year's game where the defense put up some good defense, you telling me Amari would have made a difference if we would have just treated him right? Yeah. So, But I, I got I to gotta ask you this, though, boss. No, I got go. to. I. I know you feel the way you said you you feel like they they got enough they did enough, but at the same time, like I feel like it's obvious that certain positions that we just don't do well at, and I think everybody can call them out right now. On what position? we know what we don't do with defensive tackle, we don't draft defensive tackles that Hank well. Is one well. We didn't draft him, and we don't have him now. I think that's we, what I'm we, saying. I think we draft well. I just think that defensive tackles. Yeah, I think we draft well. But I'm yeah. gonna tell you what I think we do wrong. We have instant expectations on them dudes. That's the word where we mess up. See, that's what I'm saying. That's a part of the equation. We talking about ultimately the big picture. We talking about building a team, right? Right. right. So 
if we draft those players with expectations to be starters right now, that's that's not the way to go about it. I agree. So that's why that's when free agency steps in. You need somebody right now. You need somebody ready today. And we don't do that. See, right now, we in like that's why I say it's certain positions that I wouldn't even want to go address in the draft. Defensive tackle is one of them. Me too. I said I said I totally this with Mozzie. I, I said this before we drafted Mozzie. You I can agree. go check my word. I yeah. said I don't want a defensive tackle in the draft. Right. No. I need a grown man that, you know what I'm a saying, vet, got some things to play for. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need somebody who already is familiar with dealing with this NFL strength. And know what he know he know exactly what he's doing. He coming to work every day with his lunch pail ready because he know he got a job to do. I need a guy like that. But you can't get that out of the draft, bro. It's super rare. And it's it's, it's super rare that you get a plug and play guy like that. That's why I always say, regardless of the great job they did, because I would be a fool to act like the Cowboys ain't built a great team the way we do it. We got a great team. Great but team. We need more though. We still need those little. That's why I said add a little more seasoning. We we need a defensive a tackle question. right Let me now. Ask you a question. We had him, bro. We don't need him. We had him. We just treated him like a bastard. We I'm saying we don't have him now, though. I know we I'm don't have him now. <laughs> but the the point is, like, do we team build right? I say yeah. We get him in the building. That's my we point. just don't handle them right. We that what you're saying. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. We get don't if we would have <laughs> yeah. if we would have just kept So last them, year, last year, year, last year, last year, where where linebacker we didn't treat right? You talking about Evans or somebody? We got him at the end though. No, we got him at the beginning. He had a We got him time. at the end of the season. No, not at the no. I think we got him like the last six guys or something. No. We yeah, got him before was, the trade deadline. Like, for sure. It was at the end. No, cause no, no, no. Oh, oh, it don't even matter. He just cause he just wasn't yeah. treated right. That's the point, though. That's the right. point. He wasn't treated right. You see what I'm saying? I say this. I give you that. I don't believe he would have been that big of a difference, but I give you that. I give All you right, that. So this, this this is where you don't have to give me nothing. You go feel me when I say it. <laughs> which one would you Let's rather go. have, Bobby Wagner or LVE? Bobby, because they was for about the same price. But who did we go with? Our guy, LVE. who led the team in tackles again by the league. I don't mean team, sorry, the league, Bobby Wagner. And what happened yeah. to us, <laughs> Green Bay? Yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think last year we just had glaring holes like that in the linebacker area. And I, we tried to fix it. I, I will give credit to Steve and Jerry. They tried to get Shaq Leonard in here. Now, it turns out he went to Philly. He wasn't that good. But they attempted to get a former All-Pro to come in here and help stop the bleeding. They did go and get Evans to come in and help stop the bleeding. I think he was a former first-round pick. Now, did he stop the bleeding? No. But I also think that a big part of the issue with the linebackers as well is they weren't coached. Ooh. They weren't taught last year. You like, uh. if you listen to every every single linebacker keeps saying, oh, I just love Zim and, love Zim and Paul. Paul so much. They, they never say Scott. Everything. Yeah, they never. They only bring up Zimmer and Paul, and they say, "Oh, I love him because Zimmer teaches us so much. He shows us everything on the defense. We know exactly what's going on." Like Dan, I put it on Twitter. I said Dan Quinn was not teaching these guys. He was wearing backwards hats. He was wearing Jordans. He was laughing. He was giving us to look <laughs> every, you know, every press conference and saying, "Let's get it rocking" and all that great stop. stuff. Oh. But when, when it came Hold back, on, stop. She said, stop saying he was wearing his hat backwards and wearing joints. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to get it, Star said. That ain't going to get it. You got to tighten up, man. You, you had to look, it you did, nerd. It didn't, it didn't get it. It's just like the and the linebackers, the mom said itself, like we didn't know what was going on. We had no leadership. And Dan Quinn didn't start working with the linebackers. Till like Late. two weeks before playoffs. Yes, you, you, 
you not lying. You are telling so, the truth. Because now we look at the same personnel. Now, we didn't have to overshow him because he got hurt. But you look at Damone Clark. Look at Damone Clark, how he's playing in training camp. And then look at him under Dan Quinn. Under Dan Quinn, he had people like Okoye saying he is talentless and get him off our team. Yeah. That's what that's mm. what how Damone Clark looked under Dan Quinn's scheme. Yeah. But now you put him under Mike Zimmer's scheme. He's processing. He's blowing. He's hitting the holes. He's downhill. Like, this, he's yes, I'm saying he's he's running downhill. So just like look at the difference of these players. It's the same personnel. But they look totally different because good coaching matters. Like that boy is a cat. He said I'm good enough. Got him out there. Think about shit that I shouldn't. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cat. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me because he know that it's fat. Shake it down. And it been with it been. 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 Like that boy is a cat. Like that boy is a cat. Like that boy is a cat. Like that boy is a cat.